we met sometimes in an online session. Yeah, I remember. I don't know if you remember. Yes, I remember you. Yes. I remember I told you one thing. Maybe you remember what it was, what it was. I told you I discovered myself and so on. Do you remember it? Yes. Yeah. And maybe that was not true. It was just like, okay, I had a great experience and then it fell out. Yeah. And, uh, but what I want to share, what I would, what I would like to have guidance on is this thing that I'm living with actually, which is I have a strong sense of, um, of this peace, underlying peace of experience where I can not be somebody, where I cannot be really anybody because it's just, it's just this. You can't even say anything about it. And at the same time, I'm always, I, I'm like obsessively um, looking at it, trying to figure something out, trying to understand something about it, like, for example, great experience where you disappear completely and so on. But uh, I see myself as an, a known doer. I see myself as, as doing things um, automatically, like not uh, not pre pre conceptualizing what I what what I want to do, and so it seems really. Um, really automatic and really uh, fluid the experience. Yeah. And so I'm always wondering and actually I'm always seeing this thing which is not a thing. And what I would like to know is is like something is something like is it I'm on the right track or is it the, is is it it, or I don't know. Maybe you can understand me better. Better. Yeah, I don't know all those the answers to those questions. <laughs> so a lot of responsibility to put me on under. Like, am I on the right track? And uh, um, you know, we. I, I didn't. I don't know. All right. I understand that you can't know because actually your experience is yours, even though there is nobody. But um, maybe I can talk to you about what the experience looks like. Well, I think I think that um, uh, that it's it's not a helpful direction to go in because, um, like, uh, if you have specific questions, and I can answer questions. But when it comes to your experience, that's your experience, and yeah. you know, even the idea that you're asking me to judge whether your experience is on the right track or not like it's all it's all irrelevant in a way it's it's like what your experience is is your experience is right now if you're talking yeah. about the track as in like are you on the right track with the life decisions you're making then then that's a whole different conversation then we need to speak in a one-to-one -one session and we need to really carefully look at the decisions you're making and and where they come from but in general, if you're speaking about um, waking up and non-duality, then this is an impossible that's thing for I'm me to about. determine. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh. Like, um, like, who is it that wants to know that? So the personality yeah, structure wants to know it, and the personality structure is about life choices and future. Right here, like, who wants to know it? Right here, there is just what's happening. Yeah, and then there's a sense of it, and at the same time, there is a automatic questioning about about it. I mean, okay, I accept what is. I accept. I I, I live my life as it is, and I don't, I don't uh, go against it much of the time. It happens, obviously, but most of the time, I don't. But at the yeah, same but you're time, still you're still you're okay. wanting me to validate your character that's moving in time, like you're getting the two levels muddled up. So there's what is, so you're saying that you want to speak about what is, and what is is right here, and then you're talking about your character. So that's something that you perceive in time and the way that your character is responding to it, and the character isn't what wakes up. 
what wakes up is beyond the character. But if you want to work on the character and work on the feelings, so I would say that what's happening in your character, so if we go into the character world away from non-duality, what's happening in your character is there's low self-esteem and um, uh, more than likely uh, self-judgment happening, which is creating a feeling that you've done something wrong or that you've not got quite got it right and that you've got to keep doing something. So then we can look at that on that level, like this seeking energy that keeps thinking about what it's done wrong or where it's not at. And then we can put that aside and then we can go back to the absolute level, which is right here and free and beyond thinking, beyond emotions and beyond everything. Well, <clears throat> I think actually, actually you're right when you talk about um, the low self-esteem and so on. Yeah. It's something that became came into my body came through experiences yeah. into my own my own experience it's completely and impersonal like even saying it your own experience it came into your own experiences in a way you're simply a functioning that's that's interacted with life and the particular life it's been given and because we've done one-to-one -one situ um, sessions I remember things that you've told me about your life and it's 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 natural you know when you put in certain environments then it's like you're going to add one plus one equals two um and um and that's the way the character is going to form and it's just not true so it's like it's seeing those thoughts arise and just it's it's not not following them it's just seeing that they're they're just something that's arising it's just thinking happening it's just ideas happening and it doesn't mean who you are and it doesn't mean that you've got to work out whether you're right or wrong like working out whether you're on the wrong right path spiritually in a way is is if you know that piece of who you are then it's it's like saying that it's it's buying into that story that there's something wrong with you that's something incomplete and then you just ignore it's not that you ignore it but you feel it you it, allow that feeling so you'll most likely feel it in the heart the solar plexus or somewhere like that you allow it to be there you see that it's there but then you see that there's another freedom that's here that's beyond that and that my seeking in that realm to validate myself in time and maybe, in thought and emotions never going to get me where I want to be. It's here. Maybe, it's happening. Maybe what what is happening is actually the peace underlying the, the underlying peace is always seen, always seen. I mean, always and more or less, more or less. But it's always seen. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, there is maybe because of the many videos I've watched, there is this character that automatically without conscious of without being conscious of this happening became to look for a better character in the uh, yeah. unknown and yeah and and all of that is seen it's just seen and yeah. and you're actually, actually perfect as you are with all your waltz and all your um imperfections yeah but it's like i'm waiting for a great experience it's yeah, like because that because there's still part of you that's seeking for home yeah 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 that's true so that's there's still, true. There's still even, seeking, you know, seeking so appear, appear. yeah so and it's just seeing it for what it is that there's seeking appearing and it comes and goes throughout the day so there's sometimes when it's not there and then sometimes it gets activated and just seeing it's not true so you feel the feelings you acknowledge where yeah. they come from. They come from the solar plexus, the heart. I'm in pain. Yeah. It's telling me it, that but... if I do something, I'll be better in the future. And I know that's not true. It doesn't mean that you yeah. don't work, that you don't do your daily stuff. I'm not talking about that level. I'm talking about this psychological, no, emotional not level. That is not an issue. That yeah. is not an issue. Yeah. Um, yeah, because actually all of this seeking, all the seeking itself I'm doing is... I'm actually from a distant part of myself. I'm realizing it's not it's not important in a way. Yeah. It's like okay, there is that's this piece, feeling. and that's yeah. it. Yeah. Isn't it? Isn't it this way? Je ne sais pas. I don't, isn't it this way? You suddenly put that. You suddenly try to go in like you did at the beginning, like putting it on the responsibility. Isn't my experience the way? Isn't this experience that I'm having the way? Like your experience is your experience. Like asking me to validate it is like asking me to try and understand what it's like to be inside of a bird flying in the sky. You're right. <laughs>
<laughs> I know it, it's it comes naturally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're sweet. Like you, you have a sweet energy. Like you're really, you're really good at um, taking feedback and growing from that, and um, and listening and. Yeah, just try to listen. Board. Yeah. You're so right. You're so right because it just comes. All right, is it? Is I I, I ask you. Is this the right? <laughs> is this the right uh, experience? All right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. I, mean, I get no it. I get it a me. lot. Yeah, no one can tell you, but I get it a lot. And it's no one it, can tell. Me. Yeah. No. Right. So good. Yeah. Thank you for your. And, ev and eventually, you'll get to the point where you just don't care. Like other people experiences and your experiences are irrelevant because who is the self and who is the other? You just not care anymore. Some ways, in some ways, is already happening. Yeah. In some way, but there is this um, this uh, conditioning about non-duality, which still plays on. Yeah. Yeah. There's this condition in which has just to be seen, I think. Yeah, just see it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And it's all totally impersonal. It's just the happening in that infinite space of who you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Nice. Thank you so much for calling in. That was a really sweet conversation. Thank you, Thank you Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah. See you. Thanks. See you. Bye. Bye.